Okay, we've just had this in the post. As you can see, it's a control cable, and we've also got our cable operated gear shift. So now we're going to attempt to run the cable through up to the back of the, the gearbox and um, see if we can mount these cables and get this sorted. So uh, let's start. Okay, I suppose we've got to uh, lift each each one of these up somehow. Prize is open, and then uh, get inside to take take this bit off and see what's going inside here. Okay, right. Well, we're ready to take this uh, off. What's oh, pretty straightforward in there? Okay, wow, that's pretty straightforward. Up, down, left, right, pull, push. I got my new uh, oh, the camera, I need to drop the camera. Got my new uh, push pull rod, one of them there, the other ones. Sit in a box so we can get down and have a look at how these come off and if I can do the light well try and fix them up to uh, what I have. Okay, last one. You just turn turn this. I hope it pops. There we go. Lovely. Out. Right, well they're out. So I'm wondering if I can maybe put make those shape holes in that side and um I'd have to do a bit of trimming in here, a little bit trim trim this bit down so that can go that way. Uh a little bit of modification, but at least I got all the ends and stuff to play around with. And see if I can get them onto my cables. So, okay, so we cut some uh, some plate from over there, cut them into bits, and then uh, making some brackets, which will then go down, and they will that gear that gear selector then will um, I drill a hole in here, and the gear selector will drill into these and give me the space that I need to mount mount it so what i'm doing at the moment is marking out 75 mil yeah and yeah stick it in the vise bend it over a presto l shape bracket so got two more to do and then we'll go and see what it looks like But I had a little one hand and all the camera at the same time. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Teddy. Do the last one now. Never go mend it. Right, okay. Well, my theory is take these brackets and we mount them on there, drill them into there and then we'll suspend it up just like so. Right, so what I've done, I've copied, do you think I see it in there, I've inscribed on there, basically, that shape. And I'm going to use this fine tool to 
cut all that out and hopefully the old one should just go straight in so uh, let's give it a go Okay, well that took a serious minute, so you can see now that I've cut them holes, same as that side, and now the end will now fit in there, which is a small, small big, will fit in, boom, she's in, woohoo, one step closer, yay! Okay, so we got it together. It's looking good. It's looking good. That's got to be held back further down the chain. This one's solid. And then we go left and right as well. There's the original holes. Look, they come out, and there's the ones I made. So yeah, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Just gotta uh, do the same now. Down this at the bottom end. I'll try and figure out how that one's gonna clack up to that. So that should be fun. Okay, oh, she's temporary in. First, fifth, first, second, no, fourth, third, first, second. Whew. Only in temporary at the moment, and then um, just so I can get a feel for what uh, how much of these I got to play with on each of them. I try and pull and push and turn to turn out. So uh, yeah, getting it slowly. Right, okay, a couple of days have passed since the last time we was out here. Uh, my dog passed away. Um, I've been waiting for some parts to come. I've been waiting for these. I've been waiting for these suckers to come. They go on the end. End of the rods. And um, now we've got to make this bit. So uh, now we've got these parts. Let's get cracking. Okay, this is what I've got up to now, temporary. So, um, let's see if I can balance the camera by here and go move the lever. The camera don't fall off. You guys tell me if it's working, right? Yeah, we're halfway there. <laughs> Tidy, that was a bloody treat, that is. Right now, for the up and for the there's neutral there. So for is down and neutral. Yeah, yeah. So for the down and the up, I'm gonna come off here with a funny bit of uh, shape metal. And then have the other one to pull and push. Well, that's a theory anyway. Do you? Okay, I've made a bit of uh, fabrication. And um, what uh, I'm going to do is have this counter lever on there, right? So I'm going to make an L shape bracket. So. So this will be mounted on here, which will pull in and out, which will, with the L shape, will then uh, go like this, basically, and pull on that. That's the feel, you know. So yeah, see so this is our thing. So when we pull on it, it's gonna come out, and we push, it's gonna push in. Hence the backwards and forwards. So, uh, 
Oi, that's how far we are so far. Okay, I did a bit more fabrication. Didn't film it. Uh, it's not quite in the right place at the moment. But anyway, this is uh, my theory, right? So this will be on there. Okay, and the push pull rod will be up the top. So it'll pivot on this one. So when you pull, it'll pull. Hence, pulling it that way, and then push, and it'll push out that way. So I, I'm quite pleased with that. I might make this a bit smaller, and uh, this is a bit high as well, so I'll, uh, I'll shorten this, drop it down, and, uh, and that should be it. Easy peasy.